Denise Welch, 63, and Piers Morgan, 56, are always back and forth on social media, with their opposing opinions clashing on many matters. The Loose Women panelist has taken to Twitter to call out Piers Morgan as he declared on Australian TV that he has asked Meghan Markle to come for an interview on his new show on Talk TV. Denise responded to an express. Co.UK story titled We Have Unfinished Business Piers Morgan reaches out to Meghan Markle for TV interview. The Loose Women star penned in view of her 518,500 followers in the now-deleted tweet, Has it ever occurred to Piers that Meghan didn't ghost him? Sick, she just decided that two hours in the pub with him is something she didn't want to repeat? Sick, there is no unfinished business. Denise has since deleted the tweet, with social media users taking to Twitter to question Denise on this. Bukola 34385188 said, Why did you delete that response to Piers Morgan inviting Meghan to his new platform? You spoke your truth. Don't be afraid. Chamadio added, has obsessed with her. Lee underscore Masterson commented, Let's face it, we all lie awake at night worrying about what Piers Morgan thinks. Shobha Vazarania posed Denise, as she penned, you do otherwise or you wouldn't be posting. Piers has been very opinionated about Meghan over the last two years, even leaving Good Morning Britain in 2021 with immediate effect following his criticism of Meghan and Prince Harry's Oprah interview. Piers claimed that he didn't believe a word of Meghan's claims, including that she was deeply unhappy after she married into the royal family. Piers walked off after GMB's weather presenter Alex Pierisford challenged him over his comments in March last year. The outspoken journalist received an astonishing 58,000 Ofcom complaints, and due to this an investigation took place. In September last year, Piers was cleared by Ofcom for any wrongdoing over the comments he made on the show. An Ofcom spokesperson said, this was a finely balanced decision. Mr. Morgan's comments were potentially harmful and offensive to viewers, and we recognize the strong public reaction to them. But we also took full account of freedom of expression. Under our rules, broadcasters can include controversial opinions as part of legitimate debate in the public interest, and the strong challenge to Mr. Morgan from other contributors provided important context for viewers. Nonetheless, we've reminded ITV to take greater care around content discussing mental health and suicide in future.